This week, the Grand Slam Tour revs up again as the Players' Championship returns to Toronto. The marquee event on the schedule is the one everyone wants to win. And Jacobs wins his first Grand Slam. Eve Muirhead wins her second Players' Championship. This season, the very best men's and women's teams return for a sixth time to the Madame Athletic Center, a building with its own regal history. The men's and women's field are a true global affair of veterans and new blood, all with eyes on hoisting this prestigious title. What a performance by Team Cooey. Jamie Sinclair, the first American team to win a slam, takes the Players' Championship. The stage is set, and it's time. The Players' Championship is next. It's the Pinty's Grand Slam of Curling on Sportsnet. From Toronto, Ontario, the provincial capital, they are ready to host 24 of the best teams in the world at formerly Maple Leaf Gardens, now the Madame Athletic Center, part of Ryerson University for the Players' Welcome Championship. Welcome inside. 12 men's and women's teams made their way to Toronto. Women's teams will take our focus to begin our coverage. Two 16 pools. The top eight will advance to the playoff round. Pool A, Robin Silvernagel of Saskatchewan off to a great 2-0 start. Rachel Holman picked up a victory earlier today and in doing so, locked down the Pinty's Cup. Pool B, off to terrific starts, Casey Scheidegger and Anna Hasselborn. Hi, everybody. Alongside Joel McCusker and Kevin Martin, I'm Rob Folds. We're back. It's been a long break, but we're looking forward to the final two events of the season, the Players' Championship and, of course, the Champions' Cup. Our feature matchup, Chelsea Carey and Carey Anderson. Two teams that know where each other very well when Carey played in Manitoba, but Chelsea Carey comes in as the reigning Canadian champions. Found out very well that the, the world has caught up. That's right. Uh, coming off of a disappointing performance at Worlds, but let's just remember this is a first-year team. In fact, didn't have their lead. Rochelle Brown for the first half of the season. She just rejoined in December. What a tremendous high for them to win the Scotties, come from behind to beat Rachel Holman. But they are still learning about themselves, especially in the high-performance situations like at Worlds. But what a the best way for them to get over that loss, get back out on the ice here at the Players' Championship with the top teams in the world. A good chance for them to recover. And facing Kerry Anderson now for Kerry Anderson, Kevin, another first-year team. They came out of the gate so very strong. Well, they did. They came out of the gate strong. Actually, they've had a pretty good year winning three events early, then coming in second in the Boost National, second Canada Cup, second at the Provincial Scotties. You know, it's a lot of seconds. And I think for that to to be able to lift up to winning those big events. Just, Carrie needs to just be a little bit stronger in the soft game. She struggled a little bit on the soft game and to win those big championships. If she can improve that, this will be a team to be uh, really tough in the future. Interesting though, how they match up head to head brought to you by Boost. Be up for it with Boost. 16 and five in their career. And this is with different lineups, both Anderson and Carey. Grand Slam seven and oh, and this season with a new lineup, Anderson three and one against Chelsea Carey. So it's an important game. You want to get those victories. You know that the top eight will make it into the playoff round. It is Chelsea Carey and Carey Anderson. They kick off our coverage of the 2019 Players' Championship from Toronto. You choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose New Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. Here in Canada, our dramatic climate has shaped us the same way it has shaped the land. This is where Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey's incredibly smooth taste was born, crafted by the elements. Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey. There's a lot of things that we love about curling. The history, the tradition, the corn brooms, the teamwork, the friendships, the throwing and the sweeping, and a little hurry hard now and then. They're all reasons we love our great Canadian game. 
and they're all the more reason to try Humpty's delicious curling fries. Choose from chicken, barbecue pulled pork, or ground beef with an assortment of toppings and a blend of melted cheese. Humpty's Family Restaurants, proud sponsor of the Grand Slam of Curling. There are better known tractors in the world than Coyote. Ones with bigger names, longer histories, more popular hats, cute toy lines. But there's not a single tractor ever been built that's better equipped to do the dirty work. So we'll let the others keep their squeaky clean images. And we'll focus on what really matters. Coyote, we dig dirt. Pinty's Chicken Wings, just like you get at the pub. Official sponsor of the Calgary Stampeders. 20 Western Division titles and seven time Grey Cup champs. Pinty, making great food fun. Hey look, it's the hotel view you could have had. Top up your travels. Get up to 30,000 Aeroplan miles and an annual fee rebate. The TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite Card. That's what confidence feels like. Pinty's Grand Slam of Curling on Sportsnet presents the 2019 Players' Championship. Brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. By Humpty's Family Restaurants, more great quality food for less. By Princess Auto, helping you make it work. By Boost, be up for it with Boost. By Coyote, if you have work to do, Coyote has the tractors and UTVs to do it. Coyote, we dig dirt by Pipe Creek Canadian Whiskey, crafted by the elements, and by Pinty's, making great food fun. Toronto, Ontario, and inside the Matabee Athletic Center, part of Ryerson University. It's draw seven of the Players' Championship, and our feature matchup is on Sheet C. Let's meet the teams, both of them one and one. Team Carey and Team Anerson. The leads, Rochelle Brown, Brianne Mayer. Dana Ferguson has played with Brown for quite some time. Shannon Burchard is the second for Team Carey. The third's Val Sweeting dropping down to third with Carey Anderson. Sarah Wilkes joining the Carey squad. And here are the two veteran skips. Carey Anderson, Manitoba. Chelsea Carey now out of Alberta. Draw to the button determines the hammer. Let's take a look at the effort here. Kerry Anerson with the intern. A sweep by Burchard and by Mayer and just past the pin. 11 centimeters. Dana Ferguson handling things for Team Kerry. And just a little bit of a brush from Sarah Wilkes puts it right on the lid. And that gives Team Carey the hammer. Taking a look at how they have fared with the hammer, Chelsea Carey in her time in the Grand Slam Tour, 38 and 29. Anderson without is 34 and 30. Glad to have you with us on Sportsnet for the Players Championship. On our first coverage of this event, leading to Championship Sunday on both the men's and women's side. Wanting that rock a little bit short, but you heard them say it's sliding very well. So yeah, nice keen surface here early in the game. Michelle Brown, a little bit homesick this week because Finn is at home watching mom on TV. Oh, baby Finn didn't make the trip. Didn't make the trip. Michelle had uh, Finn in October. Job, it's been quite the year <laughs> for Michelle and the baby. Did you say 10 or normal? Baby in a national championship, that's pretty good. Went from Huggies to Scotties. 
And the only way you do that is with a tremendous amount of support uh, at home, whether with your partner, your husband, maybe your family, in-laws, uh, to help out with the with the child care. There'll be l there's lots of players out here that could speak to that. You can't play at this level without that kind of support. No, I think Cody will uh, Cody will be busy this week. <laughs> <laughs> So not surprised, uh, Kevin, to see kind of a conservative start here with uh, the teams hitting from that first stone on for Team Kerry. Yeah, it would have been a different end had that first rock ended up a guard, which was the intent. So uh, I think Chelsea's pretty happy. They haven't, they haven't had a lot of games re recent. So yeah, they get out here. Same with Team Anderson as well. Haven't played a lot. Uh, their last game was the wild card game. So for both teams, you know, just uh, getting it going here. Third amongst the seconds at 85%, Shanna Burchard. And now a very simple end to begin this game between Carey and Anderson. As mentioned, both teams one and one. Carey's team 50 and 36 on the season as Dana Ferguson slides out. Stays, drops to the back 12. Wow, the way it came off I mentioned that. in the opening 12 men's teams to go with the 12 women's in action, two 16 pools. Nicholas Adine, the world champion, off to a 2 0 start, as is Glenn Howard, who likes this event a lot. Pool B, Gushu and Jacobs, both perfect at 3 and 0, and they will collide later today in action here in Toronto. And punching that out, the Anderson team. Fourth member of our broadcast crew is Mike Harris, and he will be busily watching the other action. Mike? Yes, very busily. Thank you, Rob. Uh, nice to be back. Uh, over there on sheet A, the aforementioned team, Howard, taking on Carruthers. And Howard's only knocked off Cooey and Mowat so far in this event, team one and team four in the world rankings. Uh, so look for that uh, game. Big game for Crothers, wants to get two and one. Uh, sheet B and D women's games. Scheidegger, two and oh, good start here uh, against team Yoshimura from Japan. They're 0 and two. And Fujisawa, 0 and two as well, taking on uh, team Hasselborg, also undefeated. And uh, Battle of Scotland over there on sheet E, team Patterson and team Mowat. One of them's going to get their first win, and uh, they both need it at 0 and two. MC Bruce, uh, Pete Stusky had the two Scots have a rock, paper, scissor to determine the Scotties champion on Sheedy. And it was Bruce Mullet who came up victorious. Val Sweeting. Two games in at 60% is Sarah Wilkes. Uh, Sarah want to bring that number up a little bit. Michelle Brown just yes, doing a great job of holding the line on that soft weight hit. Interesting uh, setup for Val here, playing against her former teammates. Uh, you know, Val making the call to Carrie Anderson a year ago, saying, I'm, I'm looking for a change and wanting to play third. So it must have uh, been some bittersweet memories for Val to watch her former teammates with Chelsea Carey win that Scotties. And they had uh, come second twice with Val at the helm. So I'm sure uh, Val was very, very happy for her teammates, but uh, would bring back a whole mix of emotions in there. That's very nicely put, Joe. <laughs> you spend a lot of time together. Those, those uh, girls had a lot of seasons together, and I think... Uh, they did a lot of winning together. Yes, they yeah, did. You bet. Now, 
Nice chance for Sarah just to find that no pressure draw weight there. Very nice. Good job, guys. And then right to the T line. So banking a lot of time as they yeah, I make hair very less quick than decisions I did, like, here in the opening way? end. These are important hits and stays. You know, you, if, you, if you roll out, it's not a big deal, except you keep giving that opportunity to practice, to practice to draw weight in the game. So you really do want to make the stay on these shots, forcing a hit again by the other team. You don't want to give them that, that free chance to, to get that draw weight. And although the teams have a chance to practice before each draw, you don't really get a good sense of what the draw weight is. There's a change from practice to that first end as the teams kind of wear down that pebble a little bit in the certain path. So I, I completely agree with you, Kevin. What a learning curve for this team. Sarah Wilkes moving I into the house. Still, yeah. Yeah. With Chelsea Carey, finding out with Rochelle Brown and Dana Ferguson, how much information does Chelsea Carey want in the hack? It's been such a learning process for them on that world stage. You really had to feel for that team. Most teams would have worked out some of those processes and how much communication do you need okay. at Normal. what point in the Me. game when you're anxious, when you're upset. Yeah. And here this team had to figure Normal. all that out while the world watched yeah. during the World Championships. Yeah, yeah it was only Start. recent they changed to where Sarah was sweeping early in the year and, and Dana okay. holding a broom and then and switched it around actually during the year. So Nine you're right. Four. Uh, how much fun is that, though? Like a new team going to the World Championship, that's terrific. Absolutely. But, you know, we, we did see a lot of reaction from fans, disappointed that Canada didn't make it to that uh, medal round. I think that, that this team had very realistic expectations. We're a first-year team. We're happy to have won that Scotty's final. We have a lot of learning to do, and I think uh, there's they the future is bright if you can build on what you have learned in that world championship. Mm, pressure is incredibly high on Canadian teams at world championships, Olympics. You know, take ownership of the game and expectations always high. I was looking to, for a little roll there, but a good throw by Kerry. Yeah, make sure you stick around. Make. Uh, I think this side straighter than the side you just threw. Hey, sweet. Chelsea, earn this blank. Is this where Michelle threw? Uh, yeah, probably pretty close. I think we're okay. a little wider, but it's okay. close. Okay, mm -hmm. I like Trying it. the other turn now. In the last rock opening end, uh, yep. looking for the blank yep. is Chelsea yep. Carey. Yep. Clean, clean. Looks like a pretty nice throw. Clean. Yeah, just now with clean, clean is good. Two rocks disappear. It is a blank, and Carey will hold on to the hammer on Church Street, part of Ryerson University, campus downtown. Players Championship draw seven. You choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose New Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. At Coyote, we're going to treat you like dirt. 
because we hold dirt in the highest regard. We're honored to find it under our fingernails, lucky to be caked in it at day's end. It keeps us humble, honest. Dirt gets taken for granted by most, but if you know us, you know getting treated like dirt means getting treated with respect. Coyote, we dig dirt. It weighs just 260 grams. Certified for WCF play. It features the snap pad replacement system, along with spring lock handle, the gold line airbrush, revolutionary in terms of weight and design, is simply the most effective tool a curler can use. Gold line, the choice of champions. Some people see the world a little differently, where others see problems, they see possibilities, and they have the curiosity and ingenuity to turn those light bulb moments into awesome realities. We know who you are. Pinty's Chicken Wings, just like you get at the pub. Official sponsor of the NFL. Are you ready for some football? Pinty's making great food fun. Through good times, heartbreak, and everything in between. Jenny was there. She was always there. Except the day your tire blew out. Charge your phone, Jenny. When Jenny can't help, Fountain Tire can. Our managers are also owners, so you can always count on us to look after you and your vehicle, just like Jenny, when her phone is charged. Fountain Tire. We're on this road together. 1931 to 1999, the home of the Toronto Maple Leafs, 11 Stanley Cups of the 13 were one in this building, but now it's the Mattamy Athletic Center. And this is where we have set up shop for Sportsnet and the Players' Championship. But coming up tonight, Hockey Central at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, and the Toronto Maple Leafs will begin their quest for the Stanley Cup as they meet the Boston Bruins. Game one will go tonight, 7 Eastern, 6 Pacific time. On Sportsnet and CBC. So that's 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific time. Carry the oh, one minus the two hours. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Nicely done, Rob. It's like, like being in Saskatchewan when the time changes. Oh, it doesn't. That's right. We don't confuse anybody. I don't understand. The rest of you. Excuse me. My hand's up. <laughs> we keep things pretty, you know, yeah. simple in Saskatchewan. Well, Kevin, we've got guards. Back line, back line. Yes. <laughs> back line. Oh, oh. Back line. Oh, playing the tick shot here. Yep. Just enough oh, to shooter, nudge it. Like that. Try to roll a shooter go, 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 on. Go, 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 and it <laughs> is. Is it a sniveler? It's close. It is, yeah. I felt like I was just never, like, it didn't want to go in there. I don't know if it is or not. It's close. You like? Well, I guess I can't hit it. Is that the fat like rock? It or one? I like. Five rock rules still, it, they could call for a measure on. to see whether well, that rock is on or not. We can stick you it, can't stick we? It. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we stick it? I still, what? Can't we, we can measure it if you want to hit that one. Can't yeah. we? Yeah, I guess. Like if it changes your play. Can we measure that? Yeah, stick it. They're going to so, stick it, as right they up. said. Yeah, it's, it's an important call. I, if it's on, you do want to hit that one Might and well the higher one yeah, to roll to the I center line. Later. This is kind of a blessing. Unless it doesn't change well, yeah, you what hit you want to do. Well, you roll in front of the center line, whereas you hit and roll off the back one, you're behind yes. the T line. Unless so it doesn't change what you want to do. That's all. Well, I would like to do that or roll big, right? Yeah. So we might as well check. Yeah. All right, here it comes, and this will determine whether or not it is in the rings. I'm saying it is. Okay. They're actually letting the skips do this. That's unusual. The and thirds. I'm wrong. 
There it is. Back in the saddle, 0 for 1 to be in. I know. Yeah, it's like it's in. Oh, two, two month break and still. Still off. Still got off. it. <laughs> so that is not on the <laughs> ring. We good. There's a lot of time. Yeah, it's no, like, you know what? You know what? It's like I never lost the stride. So they go after the one that is in the rings. So getting rid of this center guard, remember Team Carey has last rock. But the call would be to hang around for a corner guard to keep that uh, offense going, but keep the forefoot area open. Thanks, Dana. Very nice. Almost clipped the one in the house. Uh, let's uh, check in with Mike Harris from moments ago. Pinty's update. Mowat and Patterson. Yeah, big game over there. I said both teams 0-2. Ross Patterson took a chance on his uh, first one, came around the corner guard, and Bruce Mowat played a run back and jammed it straight back and left Clean. Patterson Whoa. with his hit for two. So Clean. Uh, Clean. good call there by Ross, and Go. he's being rewarded here with a open hit for two points. My good fella trying good to make that curl really and nice no way. problem, two nothing. Patterson over oh, it. That's the only scoring in the opening end across the five sheets. Everything else was blank. As was the action on our feature matchup between Kerry and Anderson. Not Kerry Anderson, but it is Kerry Anderson. Gonna have to do it the other way, Anderson and Carey. That's a good idea. Similar shot here for Dana Ferguson. Get rid of the center guard and roll to the corner. Maybe even get the bonus of both, uh, making both yellows go here. Mm -hmm. Hit this just right. Very close on the first shot. A little softer wave Plus and that curled rocks, up. I don't like that one. Oh, it's good it's observation. Yeah, I don't mind it. As I mentioned, as we go around the rings, blank ends, Carruthers yeah, so and it Howard. Carruthers with the hammer there. Scheidegger like and Yoshimura. Scheidegger like yeah. holds the hammer. Fujisawa and Hasselborg. With Hasselborg having the hammer once again. Taking a long time to make a move. Yeah. Rub it. Not yet. Whoa. We can go now, I think. No. Oh, yep. no, no, no. Yep, yep. Keep this in front of the T line. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. Shot. Perfect shot. Great, Top Good four. Judge. Top button. Good judge. Tons of finish in that <laughs> all, spot. All late. You know, if you think he was on the, the wide corner guard for the longest time. No choice but the straight back now for, for Sarah. Trying to hold this rock out enough to get the back one. Okay, good. Good. It's a good sweep by uh, Rochelle Brown. Trying to hold that line. Yeah. Would have loved to stick okay. it, but uh, plus, Sarah. mission accomplished to get rid of that shot stone. All right, you got it. Mark, 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 Mark. Ah. Almost enough to stay behind good. the corner guard, which would have been fantastic. Oh, a chance for Vell to put it back, though. Keep pouring the pressure here. This, this line's a little tighter, though, than the first. Don't have to finish. Okay. It does poke out the other side, and it's available. Great pair. Nice, Vell. Just great weight by Val on both of those draws, but as you said, Kevin, the, the tighter line Mr. out of her hand, you through. knew yeah, it was going to over curl. A chance for a hit and roll or a double. 
either or type of shot here. Easy down. Yep. Yep. Sarah, really good ball player, has an absolute gun from shortstop. This is curling goal. Crashes on the center line guard. It opens up those two yellows. Red does roll in and just bites the 12 foot. Glad to have with us Clutch Curling again. And we're going to be taking a look at the split times, Joan, to keep track of that. That's right. Uh, in talking to Team Anderson, who used split times uh, over the last uh, couple of days of playing. Uh, remember the split time, you start the stopwatch at the back line and then stop it at the first hog line. And when you're seeing these kinds of numbers, th that's this is where those uh, rocks end up. As a guard, is about 4.35 all the way to the back line. Of course, is a shorter speed in 3.080 seconds. It's a tool that that uh, front enders use, not in isolation. And also remembering that every curler has slightly different way of throwing, whether they kick out hard and pull back, and so they. Those are approximate times, but we, could, we can use them if, you're, if you have the same thrower throwing draws back to back. Um, yeah. okay, kind of an interesting situation here with Sarah's last miss, actually getting two biters on board. So Carrie Anderson having a look, well, should we guard? It's tough to guard. Yeah. Isaac Curls is far, electing to hit out in the wing. So Sarah's actually ended up turning out to be a pretty good shot in the end. A bit of a, a fortunate. Fortunate, <laughs> fortunate yeah. that yes. both of those rocks went yeah. in. Yeah. Well, forces carry to make a hit and stay, though. Yeah. Rolling a little bit. Hard. Comes in and okay. through the goal posts, and it does stay. Okay. And back 12 for third job, shot. Nice shot. And roll. Yeah. 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 Nope, it just came up. Well, might be an opportunity here for a triple. It's close. It's very close. Definitely, you can make the uh, the double and roll on top of the one behind the tee. Right. The angles aren't exactly perfect for a triple, but close. As you said, though, a double and the and roll staying for shot stone would be yeah. ideal as well. Bring that biter maybe into play up top. I like that ice though, like you have the whole mm -hmm. house to roll too, so yeah. That's oh, good. Yep. Firm. Yep. 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 Quick. Hard. Quick. Oh. Whoa. 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 Let it come up. Close. Yep. Whoa. And the nice. roll. Nice shot. Oh, beauty. <laughs> really nice. Great Whoa. call by Sarah. Good, good job, it's way better than the triple. That's, it's, it's frozen on the inside. Look at this. Really good. We couldn't call that better and stays frozen on the inside yeah. shot stone. Good shot. Thanks. That held better than I expected. Yeah, I thought. Just trying to choke her path off. Yeah. Yeah. You like there with like a 10? Yep. You got it. Like, not quite there. I don't think. Okay, oh, great. You got it. I don't think there's a lot of uh, choice here for Carrie Anderson with that uh, that biter. You can't afford to give up three. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much have to hit this uh, wide great. rock and, and uh, give up a four foot yeah, draw for two. Amazing two change if Carrie were to have an opportunity again, maybe would have thrown that guard when she was laying, sitting two. Or, to, you know, where she rolled to. Not ideal as well. Got the hit, comes over and bumps the red. And does it stay on top of it? Wow, what a great try. She was trying to get shot stone there. I was with you, Kevin, thinking she was just going to give I think so. to give the uh, draw for two and just stick around around the center line. But no, they were going for this thin 
hit and roll to stay right on that corner and would have been shot stone. So just over curled, spun the wrong way. And his second shot, so a, definitely a draw here for so. Chelsea Carey for two. Okay, I'm not sure. Shouldn't be an issue though, because no. it should curl him out. fine, yeah. Yes. Um, would Very you close for shot? Carey Anderson. Uh, 14. Okay, yeah. So it's probably Round similar to where I threw in practice, right? Yeah, exactly right? then, yeah. yeah. So last rock now for Chelsea Carey. Sitting one. Okay. Good. Same thing as Sarah. Okay. All Piece of the now. four would be great and would you. give her a count of two. All you. There it goes. Line's fine. Not Fight curling the much. Brown and Ferguson just keeping an eye on it, keeping it clean now. Four two. Should be close. And a little urging by. Good, Chelsea. The two into the four foot it goes and it will be a count of two. So Chelsea Carey gets the first scoring done in this game against Carey Anderson. It's two nothing after two ends of play at the Players Championship in Toronto. You choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose new Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. At Coyote, we're going to treat you like dirt because we hold dirt in the highest regard. We're honored to find it under our fingernails. Lucky to be caked in it at day's end. It keeps us humble, honest. Dirt gets taken for granted by most. But if you know us, you know getting treated like dirt means getting treated with respect. Coyote, we dig dirt. World Financial Group has as its core values integrity, reliability, honesty, hard work, and service to others. Our more than 9,000 licensed Canadian associates stand by these principles each day. They ensure that as they help families take control of their money and make it work for them, they do it the right way, every time. Through the companies represented by WFG's affiliated licensed WFG associates, offer families insurance, investment, and retirement products from many different well-known providers. This power of choice can make a world of difference. Build a future your family can count on. Contact the WFG associate today. Pinty's Chicken Wing, just like you get at the pub. Official sponsor of the Calgary Flames, Western Conference Warriors, and Heroes in Cowtown. Pinty's making great food fun. Dad was a real master, the guy who could fix anything. I've watched him adjust, tighten, and assemble, but what stood out was how he ran his shop. He was always honest, always fair, and always went the extra mile. He'll tell you he was the better technician, but I've inherited every ounce of his integrity. He's made us a lot of friends, and I've kept him coming back. Be ready for what's around the corner with Cooper Tires. Buy four select Cooper Tires and get up to a $100 mail-in reward. Visit IntegraTire.com today. Next draw, draw eight, it's a good one. Brad Jacobs, Brad Gucci, both teams off to three and O oh starts. You see it on Sportsnet One at four Eastern, one Pacific time. And the day will wrap up with the eight o'clock draw. You'll see it on Sportsnet Now. So get all dialed in for Sportsnet Now. Casey Scheidegger and Anna Hasselborn will meet. And speaking of Casey Scheidegger, she's at work right now against Sayaka Yoshimura. Mike? That's right, and uh, after a blank first end, Yoshimura actually made a double on her first here. Scheidegger was lying three right up the center line. Nice double by Yoshimura, forcing a wide outturn draw here for Casey. And a 
sweeper is kind of off and on it. And he gets to settle into the full eight foot. Looks pretty good and no mistake at all. And that will be two nothing. Scheidegger leads here after two. Well, and Scheidegger will be at work later today. And so too will Chelsea Carey. And Chelsea Carey's giving away two free tickets for their second game as they'll play Fujisawa later tonight. And all they're asking for is a tweet of a photo showing your curling spirit to enter and they'll be picking a random winner. That's on Team Carry Curl, their Twitter site. Right now, we are seeing Team Carry Curl and with a 2-0 lead over Kerry Anderson. Kevin Martin, John McCusker, Mike Harris, Stats fan Jerry Gertz, our terrific crew. I'm Rob Folds. Nice to be with you again. Okay, Dana. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, just there. Yeah. You like that? I don't mind the run. Unless we can hit yellow onto red and spill that and in. Spill both in, really yeah. Shooter. Or we can spill like here. Yeah, try yeah. to stick full. Got it. Ten. So the call is to try to get uh, open up this center line and spill that shooter into the rings. Yes. Team Anderson with uh, really Last Rock whoa, trying whoa, to get whoa, two back. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Didn't get either okay. of Wait. the options. Did not Good spin way. that shooter in and left yeah. an off-center okay. guard. Let's take a look at the other scores for you. Howard and Carruthers. Carruthers had the hammer after blank and one was able to score a single in the second. Saw Scheidegger scoring two against Yoshimura. Hasselborg with a single in the second, holding on to the hammer after a blank and one. And Bruce Mullet responded nicely with a deuce in the second. It's all tied between he and Ross Patterson. That's on sheet E. Top 12. Top 12. Top 12. Just fighting. Okay. Really there. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Play that. I like straight back. Yeah. Sorry, we can try and spill our yellow in behind. What's that? Yeah, it looks lined up nicely. I think so. Just a, hit, just a hair high yeah. on my side. Hey, right on the nose. Yo. Snows, got it. So straight back on this yellow guard. We'll get rid of at least one of the yellows. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sorry, one of the reds, I should say. That's of the three that are in the house. And keep a yellow counter in the rings. Okay. Not over curled. Like went over a bump on the center line. <laughs> yeah, if this can manage to be on the nose, help, that uh, red would have taken out at least a shot stone. Mm -hmm. right Opened the up the forefoot area, okay. but just over curled a little bit. Okay. Okay. Much deeper than that. Yeah, just because they can roll on behind their corner. Okay. Problem for. Uh, Team Anderson as well as that yellow stone now is in the intern draw path to the button. Okay. Close. Yeah. Two and a half. Sports net. Let it work. Yep. Mine's close. Just Little above sports net. Just above net. Let it work. Room, Just above so. sports net. Let it go. Sports net. The curl. Okay, here. Yeah. Hard. Hard, Michelle. We're to the sports net for sure. Little pass. Go. Go We're a little deeper. A little deeper. Keep going for the line. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's oh, good. That's whoa, good. whoa, whoa. Okay. Nice. Blue Jays spoiled the Red Sox ring ceremony with a victory. They will play them again tonight. You'll see it all beginning with Blue Jays Central, 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific time. That's on Sportsnet 1 and Sportsnet Now. And it is Aaron Sanchez going to the mound. Should see that jewelry come, the Boston Red Sox uh, World Series ring. That's a knuckle duster. Roll it a bit. Good girl. Here, 
got diamonds and rubies and a bunch of other stuff in it. Yours isn't bad. Mine's not bad. Your uh, Scotty's ring is pretty impressive. It's a good idea. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Jewelry? It's always Jewelry. a good idea. <laughs> There's, there's the tip of the day to all those watching. <laughs> Jewelry, always a good idea. It felt funny. Hey, just a little about. higher, a little higher. Okay, probably needs to curl if it's higher. Okay. So Team Carrie continuing just to put this pressure on. Hard, Dana. Hard, right over. And a live update from Fujisawa and Hasselborg right next door, Sheet D. Yeah, second end, it was Fujisawa forcing Hasselborg to take one. In this case, it's... Uh, the opposite, a good end by Team Hasselborg, lying two. And Fujisawa needs full eight foot here to score their point. And well swept right to the tee line and 1-1 one, one after two, three ends of play. Fujisawa trying to get her first victory in round robin play. Her pool, Hasselborg's off to a 2-0 and oh start and that's with some borrowed yeah, equipment to begin. Today, Their equipment didn't yeah, make it here. We can, we can take Went on it another it flight. Like <laughs> hey, Good thing is there's another down, Swedish team here and they're able to borrow some equipment from the world now. champions. Okay. Well, this is an important shot. You need to be able to get the double Stop peel, on. open up both on the, the outturn and the intern yeah, draw paths. Looks pretty good. Very nice. It opens it up. Well, it opened up the one side, but then uh, ended up jamming on the other side and closed down the outturn draw path. It's a little bit unlucky there. You see where the, the shooter goes. Makes a nice double, mm -hmm. but ends up jamming by the Owen Sports Net, and that actually blocks the outturn draw to the button. So, opened up one side to just close off the other. A bit of a bad break. Like the closer side of the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even if it's like a bit the 12 foot, it's not a disaster. Okay. Speed's the same here as what I just threw in, you think, or better? Just a, I would say just a foot better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So looking for the tight guard even sliding into a biter of the rings. Okay, line a little tight. Get it, Rochelle. We're in. We're in. We're in. Okay, line. Stop. 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 If there's, this guard ends up Stop. a little bit too long, it opens up the opportunity for Carrie to come around to the curling. top button set up okay, for the like two points. So okay. Needs okay. to be Fighting tight. Eight. Eight. Uh, she said top 12 wouldn't be a disaster, but this is going to be a little deeper than that. Good heads up play again by Sarah. Made a really good call on the hit and roll last time to set up the deuce. And didn't want to set up a nose triple, so swept it a little bit more at the end to tuck a piece under the corner guard. So really good call there. There is no triple now because the yellow corner guard's in the way. Mine should come up. Yeah, I like this size for a 10. You got it. Hey, that would be pretty nice to make her nose hit harder. Hey guys. So I want to be right on the nose, okay. sit in front of the red rock. That way, forcing Chelsea to like to blast everything, and then there'll You're be a blank in play for here. Team hey, Anderson if this is made perfectly. I think we just hit it too early. Too early. Like we just. Yeah. Tailed it through the break point. Yeah. Right? yeah. So. Yeah. Nine five. Ten. Ten, Ten five. Yes. Yes. Hard. 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 Really hard. hard. You got it. You got it. You got it. Hard. Hard. Trying to stay right hard. on the nose. Hard. Nice sweep nice. by Brianne Mayer. Punches it, sticks around as shot. Good. Great, great punch. Good. Nice one. Great sweep by Brianne. 
It's a tough shot. shot to stay exactly Top in front of that red rock, but now you can see the dilemma. You could try to nose it yourself, but if you miss that at all, it's a simple shot for two for Team Anderson. It's an easy shot to blast, but then you get the blank. You can give up the blank. So really well done by Kerry Anderson there to save the end, potentially. For Chelsea, you could pick this clean, mm -hmm. but that's incredibly difficult. Yeah, I like that. She's calling yeah, the pick. The so I'm going to give it a shot. The Obviously, the, yeah. the tolerance would be to hit this a little bit thick and, and lose your back one. But try to hit half an inch of it or, or yeah. an, an, an inch of yeah. it to make this pick clean. Trying to hold that rock off that center line. Rochelle's doing a real good job of it. Just close. Pick it clean. She does. Well done. Clean and enough. He sits there for two. Great shot, Chelsea. That rock was just off center, right out of Chelsea's hand, and Rochelle held it right until just past the hog line. So really well done sweeping that rock, holding it straight all the way down the sheet. I thought that one was a better throw than my first one. Like, it was a little bit more positive. Yeah. Still could probably... So probably minimum. Just, yeah, just yeah. nothing crazy though. No. Yeah. That's manageable, but I, if anything, could afford to be a little mm -hmm. bit more. Okay. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Well, an important draw here for Carrie Anderson. Looking at two counters. Needs to keep pace. So just about four foot is needed to get this point. Well done yeah. by the front end. Perfect sweeping for the single. And that will wrap up end number three. A simple little draw, but uh, could be a little nervy against two. 1.4. Terry Anderson, Chelsea Carey leads 2 1. Here in Canada, our dramatic climate has shaped us the same way it has shaped the land. This is where Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey's incredibly smooth taste was born. Crafted by the elements. Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey. You choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose New Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. Company bonus. Company bonus. Number one employee? At least you're not number two. Seriously. Some rewards are better than others. Download Humpty's Guest Rewards app from the App Store or Google Play and get one point for every dollar spent for future discounts. Humpty's Guest Rewards. Reward yourself today. Some people see the world a little differently. Where others see problems, they see possibilities. And they have the curiosity and ingenuity to turn those light bulb moments into awesome realities. We know who you are. Pinty's Chicken Wings, just like you get at the pub. Proud supporter of the Toronto Blue Jays. Two-time World Series champions. Pinty's making great food fun. Through good times, heartbreak, and everything in between. Jenny was there. She was always there. Except the day your tire blew out. <sighs> Charge your phone, Jenny. When Jenny can't help, Fountain Tire can. Our managers are also owners, so you can always count on us to look after you and your vehicle, just like Jenny, when her phone is charged. Fountain Tire. We're on this road together.
If Dan's mouth wasn't so full, he'd tell you that good food saves him from thinking about what to cook every night. The pepper is right over there, Dan. You got this, buddy. Good food. Try Canada's number one meal kit on makegoodfood.ca. The last event was in North Battleford. It was a Meridian Canadian Open. Rachel Homan facing Silvana Tiranzoni in the championship, looking for her third straight slam title. Very nice shot here. But countering Alina Petz. That's right. She was actually looking at uh, the in-off on the other red stone, but it had worked out perfectly to keep them in the game. But they were on such a roll, the Homan team. Shots like this, very nice draw there for two, and that was enough. They win three straight slams, and that was a 10th slam title for Team Homan. So entering into this event, they only needed two round robin victories to clinch the Pinty's Cup and a $75,000 bonus. Well, they did that earlier today with a win over Tracy Fleury, and on the road to the Pinty's Cup, Brought to you by Pinty's, making great food fun. It's Rachel Holman, who knows already they have $75,000 in bonus money. Now the question is, Hasselbord, Tiranzoni, Jennifer Jones, Carrie Anderson are all in the mix for, will it be 40000 25 or 10 Still lots to play for, for second to fourth. And here's Carrie Anderson, one of those teams looking to be in that top four when it's all said and done. Right now with a single in the third, trailing Chelsea Carey by one. And Rob, Chelsea Carey is still in the mix for the, the, the Pinty's Cup money as well. Right now she's sitting 10th, but if she was able to win this event, of course she would move up in those standings. Because points are doubled, mm -hmm. 25 points for winning the event here in Toronto. All the points are doubled all the way through, so a good run and Look at that bonus money. Mm -hmm. So just to get you caught up here, Chelsea Carey's team playing the tick shot with Rochelle Brown. She made it on the first one, but both shot, both rocks stayed in play. And she actually hit this yellow stone right here too hard on her second tick shot, and it had to go back. And that got you caught up to where we are right now. I thought it would be a little sticky. It's a fairly simple guard now because of the redstone being uh, close to the center line. Makes this, uh, this guard a little bit easier to play. So Chelsea may have to take on the red on to yellow double peel, which is always scary because if you miss it, the come around is made by Team Anderson and be too buried in the top four foot. So. Just to the center right. line and the T in Sportsnet. Team Carey was playing this same kind of strategy at the Worlds where they play the tick shot early in the game, but leaving those rocks in play, as you've been mentioning, clogs up that center line. <laughs> Lots of pressure on continuing to play the peels and the double peels to try to get them out of trouble. Yeah, I had a wonderful, quite a few texts lately and, and tweets lately from, from fans and uh, went out for dinner with Team Botcher last night yeah. and we had a wonderful discussion Good about the tick shot yes. and the tick zone or whatever whatever it could be deemed to be. Somewhere where rocks aren't allowed to be ticked along the center line. It was quite an interesting discussion because it's about, I think it's around 50-50. Mm -hmm. People think, yes, we need a tick zone. Well, no, it's a hard shot. Players should be able to do it. And that's kind of a neat thing right now because you see teams like Chelsea where they they play the tick shot pretty much all game and they're becoming very, very good at it. And is there a point where it becomes, I guess, too easy? So now, you know, rules once again have to be massaged to, uh, to keep the game exciting early in the game, earlier than usual. It used to be just a shot back with Jeff Stoughton with Steve Gould, the tick man. That was kind of when it started. Yes, and then... True. Oh, getting the rock off center. Well, now it's become very, very commonplace. I was so it was a wonderful discussion. I was surprised it became such um, a topic of discussion. But a lot of people are doing it successfully now, and it's being used as a, a point of strategy, too. Well, let's just move that aside. And we, so it's interesting that it became a, a bit of a topic during the world. 
and, and again, we, we have to realize that our, our ice conditions are becoming more and more consistent so that these kind of difficult shots are being made more often and you can use them in your strategy. Nice shot, Sarah. Let's check and uh, take a look around the rings on the scores in this draw seven. Blank end in three. Carruthers still leads Howard 1-0. Howard off to a 2-0 start. Yoshimura responded with a single in the third. Scheidegger leading 2-1, playing in four. Hasselborg and Fujisawa are now tied at one. Japanese team scoring one in the third. And Bruce Moore and Ross Patterson. Looks like they're going to be a high-scoring Scottish affair. Patterson came back with three in the third for a 5-2 lead. 2-1 the score in our feature matchup. Chelsea Carey leading with a score of two in the second end. Here. Thought we wanted it higher. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. A bit of a head scratcher from Val Sweeting. Seven eights. Just left a, a very okay. easy double peel here for Sarah Wilkes. the double peel and the red stays right on the center line and that's the problem Rob did not want to keep that shooter yeah, right even there if we're not in I think yeah not better. in is actually better because then the run is yeah better. so like where are you thinking yeah somewhere around there right there that's right up the fourth okay. so a chance to open everything up but that rock uh, over curling worried about stays right on the center yeah, line. I think a four to take max because yeah. we can so always There's a red stone though that's out front so that can be run back again. So here Carrie Anderson wanting to make sure they don't come in too deep here because it could be red onto yellow, red onto yellow, red could lie too. So making sure you tuck a corner but be short of the house on this shot. It's a very difficult guard actually to, mm -hmm. to make. To place it exactly. Had a 16 four on that. looks pretty good. Wanting to tuck a, a corner of this yellow rock around the red. Just tuck a little bit. Look at that finish. That is perfect. That is just tucked by an inch. Great throw. Great weight. Darn. Good carry. Thanks. Good breath. This doesn't roll on. Like, what if we just go like this? Yeah. Because it should miss. As long as it gets by this. Yeah. Um, she might be able to make her, like ours. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we but took it, away there. I thought it curled. Well, you see, it's just that she could see. Maybe she could yeah. make yeah. it good and not spin this into the open and leave them one buried. Like, I think we need to be able to get to it this yeah. way, you know? Which I don't think we can. I get, well, I probably don't have enough air to play the double peel and hope it gets to do it. No, you just be no. Oh, well, they make their like, decision. We've got a Pinty's know. update for you. Anna Hasselborg and Satsuki Fujisawa no. meeting on sheet D. Do we have our draw? A yeah. big, uh, big end here potentially for Hasselborg. That uh, red stone was a come around at the yeah. corner guard attempt yeah. by Fujisawa. It just robbed, and uh, yeah. this is an open hit for yeah. at yeah. least three. Yeah. You see as the rocks come into the rings here, and I think it might be a four. Four. It looks like four, four. four could be a midfall. Looks like four for sure. We depend on the back one here. A handful. Shinobu Yoshida. They've kicked four of them off, so most of a hand. <laughs> They're going to measure to see whether or not it's five. It's a, it's a bunch for Anna Hasselborg. 
Team Carry continuing to talk about whether they should be trying to run this yellow guardian. Sure. With a soft weight hit, would they be able to hit Sometimes enough of hit that it, guard into their own redstone, as Sarah's open, pointing out? Flank might be in play if she doesn't fall under. Yeah, I well, just, we might lose both yellows. We might stuff the seven, is my concern. But it's at least it'll be over here. It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll be further open. out. Yeah. Talking about, you know can that they go across the top to, that to yeah. run that yeah. back? They're yeah. worried they that that the red yeah. long guard's in the way. Easy. So then they're talking yeah, about... A little bit of weight, like, I agree, like to curve. try and spill everything. Can they hit yeah. enough yeah. of that like mm -hmm. to make it? That might be the the uh, best chance. Hey. You got it. Do you like this, It's exactly the call. So it's very, very difficult, though, because from the front, you remember that yellow rock is slightly buried yeah. hey. behind the red guard. So you can only see seven-eighths of this rock, and they need to hit all of that. Does it look there from the hack? <laughs> but if I feel it, I feel it. I have to put it back. It's right. I'm trying with just like light. I don't know. With that ice, it looks like she's trying not to read. It's by and okay. good, good. gets back rid of the back yellow. Red is <laughs> shot, but, but it, it is open. You know, it, no, it's almost as good as, as what she could have made it. Got it. And now let's check in with Patterson and Mowat, but there's only one sweeper with first Mowat. Yes, and you saw that yellow stone at the top of the eight foot. That was a draw attempt to lie to yep. by Mowat, and uh, Bobby Lammy out there on his own. Hammy McMillan Jr., very whoa, whoa. ill, ran into whoa. Hammy before the game. He tried to play, played the first three ends, in yep. fact. But uh, the one sweeper certainly cost him this end, cost him a point, and uh, Mowat forced to one here after a nice rock by Patterson. But uh, Patterson in control there now, two up with the hammer against uh, a threesome on Team Mowat. Wait, good! Team! Wait, good! Yes! 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 Now this one has to get by the guard, moving, sneaks by, and chips out the red. And will it stay? And will the red get all the way out? No, it sticks okay. around. No. Is there a chance for a double on this side? Yes, there is. That was really an unforced error. To not throw this rock hard enough. So not enough weight, even though these sweepers were on it the whole way down, got it by the guard, but actually over curled that shot stone and didn't remove it from play. Just not enough weight. Like mm -hmm. Kerry said, I thought I threw that good. Well, I think you did. Just a little light. Yeah. Like threw it nice as far as the release. If that has hack weight, like, like that would have been a beautiful here. hit and roll. Yeah. Just but a quick just, update. It was a count of four a, a for Anna Hausaborg, yeah, not five in the fourth end against Fujisawa. She's yeah. opened up a 5-1 lead. Apparently my eyes aren't real clear either, uh, Folsey. I it looked I like it was, five to me. I thought it was five, but then again, I'm in mid-season form. <laughs> <laughs> Last rock in the fourth Yo. end. Leading by one, trying to make the double. No, they're not touching it. Now they're starting to work on it. And will it roll out? It rolls to the red. It will be a steal of one. So trying for the double. And it comes up in Anderson's favor, and it is tied at two. After four ends of play, draw seven players championship on Sportsnet. There's a lot of things that we love about curling. The history, the tradition, the corn brooms, the teamwork, the friendships, the throwing and the sweeping, and a little hurry hard now and then. They're all reasons we love our great Canadian game. And they're all the more reason to try Humpty's delicious curling fries. Choose from chicken, barbecue pulled pork, or ground beef with an assortment of toppings and a blend of melted cheese. Humpty's Family Restaurants, proud sponsor of the Grand Slam of Curling.
Pike Creek on the rocks. World Financial Group has as its core values integrity, reliability, honesty, hard work, and service to others. Our more than 9,000 licensed Canadian associates stand by these principles each day. They ensure that as they help families take control of their money and make it work for them, they do it the right way, every time. Through the companies represented by WFG's affiliated licensed WFG associates, offer families insurance, investment, and retirement products from many different well-known providers. This power of choice can make a world of difference. Build a future your family can count on. Contact the WFG associate today. You choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose New Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. I am the Stanley Cup, and I get picked up a lot. Like, a whole lot. Careful! But nobody picks me up like Enterprise. Road trip! I can pick up the crowd in a pickup truck. Sorry, I can't wave! If my car's in the shop, I pick something exotic. You can just put them in the cup. I can rent a car for away games or rent a van for a work party. Cannonball! Whenever you need a pickup, pick Enterprise. I love my job. It's the Pinty's Grand Slam of curling the 2018-19 season. It all began in September with the Princess Auto Elite 10 from Chatham, Kent. Anna Hasselborg winning her first slam title. It gives you a great indication of what it means to win a slam title. Brad Gushu smiles and high fives for his team as they win on the men's side. Next stop in October was Churro, Nova Scotia and the RAF East Link Arena and the Canadian Beef Masters. And there's another celebration by the Hasselborg side. How about two in a row? On the men's side, it was John Epping coming up with a win over Kevin Cooey to earn the title. Thunder Bay, Ontario was the site of the Tour Challenge at the Thunder Bay Tournament Center. Rachel Homan started her run there with a big victory. And Brad Jacobs came up with a victory over Brendan Botcher to win the title. At the Boost National in Conception Bay, South Newfoundland and Labrador, Rachel Homan with a record tying ninth slam. Holman defeating Kerry Anderson, and Ross Patterson got his first title, defeating Bruce Mowat to win the Boost National. Meridian Canadian Open went west to North Battleford, Saskatchewan in January. Rachel Holman, a record-setting 10th title, defeating Sylvana Tiranzoni, and getting his first ever Grand Slam title was Brendan Botcher with his win over John Epping. That brings us here to Toronto. Sixth time in seven years, the Mattamy Athletic Center has hosted the players. First was in 2013. And it will all wrap up with the Humpties Champions Cup. You need a win to get in, and that's in Saskatoon, April 23rd to the 28th. The new facility, Merlis Belcher Place at the University of Saskatchewan. We are definitely looking forward to dropping by Saskatchewan. At Ryerson University, the Mattamy Athletic Center, a great spot for the Players' Championship. Let's take a look at the women's standings. Pool A, Silver Nagel at 2-0. and oh. Homan 2-1 and one and has locked down the Pinty's Cup with her second round robin victory. On the B side, Hasselborg and Scheidegger both at a perfect 2-0. and oh. Men's standings look like this in the two pools. At Dean and Howard off to great 2-0 and oh start. Kevin Cooey, 1-1. One and one. Pool B, Gushu and Jacobs. 3-0, and, oh, and they will be meeting later today in Pool B action. Standings are brought to you by Coyote. If you have work to do, Coyote has the tractors and UTVs to do it. Coyote, we dig dirt. And here is the promo for Draw 8, the Battle of the Brads. Jacobs and Gushu, 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific. You will see it on Sportsnet 1. And the day will wrap up with Scheidegger and Hasselborg 
8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on Sportsnet Now. Now, Sportsnet Now is Sportsnet on your computer or your mobile device. It costs absolutely nothing with your cable or satellite subscription. And all you have to do is go to sportsnet.ca on your computer or download the Sportsnet app and then log into your service provider. If you don't have an account with your cable or satellite provider, give them a call and they'll get you set up. But if you have a service provider, it is free to get Sportsnet Now. And you can see that match between Hasselborg and Scheidegger tonight. On that? Yeah. Okay. This shouldn't do much here. No. Under oh, Dana. Here. You got it. So once again, a tick shot being called from Prime. Rochelle Brown. She yep. made yep. it on her first oh. one, but oh, on her oh. second one, she actually advanced the Yellowstone that's at the top of the eight foot to into the house and left her guard on the, just off the center line. So a little bit of trouble here for Team Carey when those tick shots are not made. You know, we have that great discussion about uh, about whether the tick shot should be illegal, whether there should, if it's on the center line, like we played in the Elite 10, where you cannot move it if, if the rock is on the center line. Still a little ways to go, I think, in the women's game for uh, the consistency of making those tick shots throughout a game. Certainly on ice, it moves this much. It's mm -hmm. far more difficult than uh, the ice curls as far as it does here. Terrific surface this week. Really, really fast, lots of movement. Great for the curlers. So Dana Ferguson, I had a couple of texts uh, talking about Sarah Wilkes and her arm from shortstop. Well, Dana's the pitcher on the team. It's a curling team of ball, <laughs> or should I say a, a ball team full of curlers. <laughs> uh, yes. I think so. I think that's I what think we should say. And yeah. Dana's the pitcher and uh, and uh, Carrick sent me a text. Yeah, <laughs> Sarah's got an arm, but she hits the ball a ton. He also yeah. says yeah, it was Dana and then Mick, of course, getting married to Sarah this summer. He's on the team and we're talking about Rochelle and Cody. They're yes. on the team. Yes. So it's quite, uh, quite the crew. Uh, I can't say the team name. It's, uh, I can't say it on <laughs> national air. <laughs> but it's fun. It's, <laughs> but a, it's a fun, fun name. Team. It's a fun name. Oh, right on. And a fun team. Yeah. Yes. And I yeah. want to play. Oh, what a crew. Donnie Bartlett plays oh, on the team. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Doesn't run very fast or far anymore, but he hits the ball. <laughs> so, Dana, keep I didn't forget going, about you being the pitcher. Keep going, keep going. We've got a Pinty's update for you as we check in with the action between Scheidegger and Yoshimura on sheet B. Yeah, you see that rock on the button. Yoshimura called a timeout and they elected to play the come around and she came around her own rock at the top eight foot and got it buried on the button. And Scheidegger now has to play a very difficult out turn tap. It might be there for two though if she can get this to curl past the guard. Trying to just clip her own at the top of the forefoot sideways. Go, go, go! And doesn't quite move it far enough, but a wonderful shot by Yoshimura to get the force and one for Scheidegger. 3 1 lead now after four ends of play. Pretty fancy shooting go going on over there. That's a good game. And in our game. Team Carey having trouble making that uh, double okay, peel, the, the double run back to try to clear up that front. As I said, this started when the second tick shot actually advanced the yellow rock to be shot and left the guard in play. And Team Anderson has just been guarding along that center line since. And that one over yeah. curled. Yeah. So there's an opportunity like for Sarah yeah, Wilkes to get to shot stone. I can be pretty aggressive. Like with my weight and my release, I think. Yeah. Hey? You'll get movement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Solid bumper. Eleven five? Yep. Oh, yep. Get this by a chance to get a by. 
Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Just glanced off it. Oh, a brief nudge, and that was enough to send it away. And what a, a result not getting rid of the guard. So just <laughs> redirecting oh, yeah. off of that high guard, misses the one in the house, and leaves the guard in play. So the worst possible result there for Sarah. 2-2 two, two game. Let's take a look at the scores as we okay. race around the rings. Okay. Glenn Howard scoring two in the fourth for a 2-1 lead over Reed Carruthers. Saw Scheidegger forced to one. 3-1 lead over Yoshimura. And a Hasselborg with a big count of four in the fourth, opening up a 5-1 a lead over Fujisawa. And Bruce Mowat trails Ross Patterson by two, playing in the fifth end. That should be perfect. Christmas they usually sing this, but for hockey fans, it's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> playoffs, Stanley Cup playoffs, it all begins with Hockey Central tonight, 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific time. Game one between the Leafs and Bruins, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on CBC and Sportsnet. That's not all, lots more. Game one of Calgary hosting Colorado, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific time. And you want more? Yes, there's more on CBC and Sportsnet. Game one tonight with Carolina mixing it up. What kind of weight? Normal. With okay. Washington, the defending Stanley Cup champions. It's busy, busy, busy time. At the curling rink. Yeah, getting curling, you've got <laughs> hockey, you've got baseball, you've got basketball. What more could you ask for, Joan? And I have chocolate. Yep. So oh, there it is. It's all good. A missed Let's opportunity go. for Carrie Anderson. Yep. Setting up this double for Chelsea Carey. Yep. Yep. Yes. This one misses the guard and will clean up things. <laughs> nice shot, Chelsea. That was probably close in the end, hey? Yeah. Ten? Yeah. I, I missed it. it. Yeah. Not a well placed nice drop by cool. Carrie Anderson on her first. Holding. End up locking a corner on the outside, giving that double. She was attempting to come around and and really put the pressure on, which is the right call. Just didn't quite uh, have it curl enough. Corners would work. I thought they might get on that a little bit early, you know, a little mm. bit, a little bit wide, a little bit heavy on that one. So instead, of, I know rolling behind the center obviously is the right call, but once it's heavy and wide a bit, maybe sweep that all the way down the sheet and roll behind the corners and try to uh, try to get your force that way. So a chance for Chelsea Carey now, uh, as she chased all end. A uh, great chance now to blank and, and carry that hammer into the sixth end. So another simple but really important shot here. Easy, Pio! Gonna have to hold this one though. Effective sweeping. Sweep. Rochelle's effective with that uh, that broom. Really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
That's Lake Devo. Apparently, the lake is a little low right now. It's tied at two after five ends of play. Want to go swimming? Safe right now. With available safety features like a surround view monitor. Remember the breathing. Blind spot collision avoidance assist. And rear occupant alert. The all new Santa Fe doesn't just keep you safe. It helps keep everyone safe. Through good times, heartbreak, and everything in between. Jenny was there. She was always there. Except the day your tire blew out. <sighs> Charge your phone, Jenny. When Jenny can't help, Fountain Tire can. Our managers are also owners, so you can always count on us to look after you and your vehicle, just like Jenny, when her phone is charged. Fountain Tire. We're on this road together. Hey, let's save it for the rink, boys. Stay protected from spills and messes with WeatherTech seat protectors and floor liners. For complete coverage, add a cargo liner and order yours today at weathertech.ca. The best defense for your vehicle in any season. A car ran me off the road and almost totaled my car. After talking to ICBC, I, I felt very uncomfortable and I knew I needed somebody to protect my rights. Joanne called Stevens and Holman Law Firm. Everyone that I had dealings with at Stevens and Holman was so kind, so understanding. They talked me through the whole process and got me through it safely. We protect injured people's rights. Give us a call. They were everything I could ever want in a law firm and more. Pinty's Chicken Wing. Just like you get at the pub. Official sponsor of the Calgary Flames, Western Conference Warriors, and Heroes in Cowtown. Pinty's making great food fun. You choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose New Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto was, of course, the center of all activity, including some concert activity. The Beatles were there in September of 1964. Two shows in 65, one more in 66. Just part of the history of what is now the Mattamy Athletic Center and is the site of the Players' Championship here in Toronto. Our feature matchup is Chelsea Carey and Carey Anderson. And all our split time and rock speed and rotations are brought to you by Clutch Curling. You can visit clutchcurling.ca and use the promo code PINTIES by April 19th to get $250 off your hardware package. Join leading clubs and get the same measurements as the pros during your play. Clutch Curling, know your game. Like a usable car, I think. Leanne Mayer throwing a, a higher center line guard. Her first it's one line a little higher. Two. Not line straight. No. was pushed into the rings where you see okay. Michelle Brown's red rock. That girl, great weight. It's a good spot. Nice shot. Oh, top four. Her. Okay. Oh. I just want to draw you. <laughs> <laughs> um, speed so, pitch slower than the other game. Like 14? Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. But we kind of use this pitch. Mm hmm And that's unusual. Rochelle Brown saying, haven't been throwing into the rings yet. Should be close. Yeah. Threw hits Wait, in the first so end when uh, yeah. Anderson Rocks came into the, the guard came then. into the rings and then has been throwing gonna, tick shots. No. Gotta catch the curl. Yeah. T. Top four. No, no, no. Really go. coming off. It's Top like four. back no. seat. Is it? Okay. Yeah. No. You gotta go right back. Yeah. The reason they're sweeping no, that back at the end is making room for two. <laughs> Sorry. Was 
Pinty's update for you from moments ago on sheet D, Hasselborg and Fujisawa with Hasselborg very much in control. And again this end, Rob, with uh, Fujisawa throwing a double against three here. Those are lined up very nicely. It'll be hard to save the shooter and make the double. Pretty close here, but doesn't quite spring it over far enough, and there'll be another steal. 6-1, Hasselborg after five. Anna Hasselborg certainly feeling good at their game right now with the 6-1 lead. We were okay. Really nice draw by Shannon Burchard. Right to the top of the button. Completely buried. So Peel is the call for Dana Ferguson. Yep. 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 Okay. Not the call, but a uh, good result for uh, Four Dana. Four eighth eighths. <laughs> Sorry. Let's curl up the end. So I was looking for the double peel. Missed the double peel. But got rid of the shot stone. So a little fortunate. There is an outturn port here for Team Anderson. It's difficult though. Have to keep the weight up a little bit to get through that backward stagger. Not very much room. It's a tough shot. Through the port. Well done. Bumps the red and sitting two. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Great sweep by Val Sweeting. I made that look pretty easy. It, it isn't. Not a lot of room on both yeah, sides of that. Uh, yeah, that's what they just threw. Getting by Gina. with a good inch on that side and about the same on the other. So definitely put it right through the center of that port. Not easy. a lot of room. See if Dana can do the same. This is a little wider path early. Ooh. And through it goes. Yeah, Dana. Great. Ten and a half. Apparently that port is huge. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that was a little scary. <laughs> a live update. Yeah. The action from Yoshimura and Scheidegger with Scheidegger leading by two. And this time it was Scheidegger with a pressure draw. That uh, lone red at the back corner there was her shot zone and uh, three yellows in the rings and she had to get into the eight foot in order to Cut down Yoshimura. She did a good job. Casey Scheidegger did. And this is a hit for two. You have to just get past that yellow at the top eight foot. Or excuse me, hit for one, rather. Just at throwing the draw for a moment. Got to go to get by. Just rubbed it, but it stayed anyway. And that'll be a single point for Yoshimura. But she'll be down one now without the hammer going into end number six. And they keep firing rocks through those goalposts there. <laughs> yeah, changing the turn, changing the player, it's still made. So three in a row through that port. Chance for the intern to come around now, though. Try to bite the top four foot buried. This will be a new path, though, going very, very wide. So you see Sarah put a lot of rotation on the rock. That'll have the rock hold straighter early. Now, can they get the late finish they need? Pretty good, buried well, close to a half rock. Good, good sweep. Just no curve there. Sorry? Just, okay. Talking about it not curling a lot there, but that was a lot of rotation put on that handle, so that makes sense. Now, see if Val can, can follow this in with with her lefty out turn. Yes. Back little up. Yes. 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 Good. Hard. Yes. Hard. Hard. Trying to hold this rock. Oh, look at it start to dig. Is it going to get by? Does. Oh. Nice sweep. That was a great sweep to hold that. Boy, it really started to jump, didn't it? You know, it's, it's 
It's one of those ones where if Vell can get this one on the nose, what a result, but very dangerous to try to play it that close to the red guard. But look at the result, blocks the draw path now. Mm -hmm. Three yellows in the rings. You know, we made much of this uh, new team of skips that was put together, Team Anderson, and talked about at the beginning of the year, the adjustment for the front end, coming from those skipping positions to play front end. And you've got to be impressed with the, the power that uh, Brianne Mayer and Shannon Burchard have when they sweep. Good, strong athletes up front. So past the red guard and punching out the top yellow, but still yellow sits two. That's right. The good news, you, you, you got rid of that stone. The bad news, your third shot. She's probably coming through here, but you should be able to get it. Yeah, unless she's like here, then I can't. Yeah. I, I like this. If she makes that tap, you should have a double. Yeah. And even if you like show a piece, Mm -hmm. Then you have it. Yeah. We I just like can't. This. We just can't over curl it oh, yeah. and leave her that. Okay. Right. I like this. So I'm thinking there. I, yeah. They seem to really come in here. Yeah. So Carrie Anderson's team made a lot of headlines, as you said, Joan, with the four skips getting together, and they came out of the gates and won three events very quickly. This is how they've done on the Grand Slam Tour. We're in a tiebreaker, the Canadian Beat Masters, semifinal in the Tour Challenge, a finalist in the Boost National, and missed the playoffs in Meridian Canadian Open. And Pinty's Cup right now sitting with 19 points in fifth, so a good finish here. Could earn them some bonus money. They maybe came out of the gate too fast, and they've kind of plateaued, and now trying to finish strong with the final two events of the year. No such thing as too fast, Rob. <laughs> I think it was a planned attack. This this new team start very early in the season. They were they were playing in a com very competitive events right at the beginning of September, and had uh, a lot of success. But the fields weren't as strong as what they are at the Grand Slam. So it has been, I think, a learning curve for Team Anderson. Saw a split time there of 389, but coming very wide. Look where it settles in. Four, third shot. Yeah, just there. That was fairly casual that last sweep just to get at the extra inch or so. Time with the curl. Yeah. They didn't want to bring that any farther because it would have been in that port that they had yeah. played earlier in the end in between those two guards. And uh, Chelsea Carey would have been able to, to play that center line side. Well, another new team was Chelsea Carey. Missed the playoffs of the Princess Ottawa Elite 10. Semi-finals, Canadian Beef Masters. Missed the playoffs in both the Tour Challenge and the Boost National. Meridian Canadian Open Quarters. 10th place right now with the Pinty's Cup, but a good finish here. Could vault them up higher in the standing. They did get it together to win the Scotties and represent Canada at the Women's Worlds. And let us go to a live update. This is the action between Howard and Carruthers. That's right, and Glenn Howard, as he's apt to do, made a perfect hit and roll. Uh, there was a red zone, basically where Reed Carruthers' broom is, uh, and Glenn hit and roll dead, not quite dead buried there. You can see about an inch of that yellow stone behind the guard. Hey, They're, uh, they don't like the look of this. They were going to throw the top, I mean, and now... It's hard uh, to kill that and save your shooter. We'll come back to this. By. Well, they're looking at a couple of options there. While they look at that, we will return to this 2-2 game. In the sixth end, Carey and Anderson. Well, you talk about a perfect roll. Chelsea Carey, looking at three yellow counters, makes the perfect roll for shot stone. Just a beautiful, beautiful result. Like, we could shrink them down, but they just tap this. I like this, Carey. Right there, Val. Okay. Looking at the double. Like Looking yeah. at the double. Yeah, they could come it. through this hole and take out that rock, but if you ever were to tick that, you might give a draw for three. So this is the right call. It's a tougher of the calls, mm -hmm. but shouldn't yeah. give up more than yeah, two. Oh, we well, do know that the skill set roll. for Anderson is in her hit game. Definitely a terrific hitter. This is a tough one. Has to hit maybe a third on the outside, our quarter of this rock.
Carrier with the hammer yeah. in seven. In six, rather. One took a move about halfway yeah. down the sheet. Yeah. Needs to hold this thing thin enough. One. Oh. Slides underneath it. And Carrie now sitting one, looking to get her second. I think it smooched the one on the it bottom. Did. It did. It actually moved it just an inch or so. Watch the second yeah. red. Just, yep. See up. <laughs> so, so close. close. Little body English there by Carrie Anderson. Not able to get the second. So a drop for two for Carrie here in the sixth. This would be the definition of a skipper's deuce. Well, if she could make this draw. And it's similar to the, the second end when Chelsea Carey was in all sorts of trouble looking at a lot of Anderson rocks. Makes the perfect roll. Does it again here for this opportunity for two. The last rock, sixth end. With one looking to add another. See the split time of 399. Looking pretty good. Yeah. 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 All they have to be is full eight. Nice and they are there plus they're into the four yeah. foot two for Kerry Anderson. Nice Thanks count of two yeah. in the sixth <laughs> end. So four two now. Kerry leading Kerry Anderson. As they get ready to play into the seventh, let's head back to sheet A. Howard and Carruthers from moments ago. Decision made, Mike. That's right. They did abandon the intern tap. Uh, you know, Mike McEwen got in the hack and couldn't see any of that yellow. And they've gone with the outturn draw, and trying to tie this game up, one hammer each. You got to. I think you defer to the thrower in that case. And if you don't like it, not likely to make it, are you? To need to make this draw now. Sam Agolski and Hodgson off and on. That's a good sign, generally. But I said Looks pretty side. good. So great hit and roll there by Glenn Howard, and he gets the force. 2-2. Two -two. So 2-2, two -two, Carruthers and Howard. Howard trying to improve to 3-0. Carruthers to 2-1. Draw 7 of the Players' Championship in Toronto. Some people see the world a little differently. Where others see problems, they see possibilities. And they have the curiosity and ingenuity to turn those light bulb moments into awesome realities. We know who you are. Pike Creek on the rocks. Every day you go new places. A small change in how you do things, or moving your things to a whole new town, or many things to many towns all at once. No matter how small the move, it can be a big leap from where you are now. You've got it in you to go new places. So do we. We go there every day. We're here to help you move to places on the map, in the mind, in the heart, or all three. Go New Places with AMJ Campbell. Contact us at 888-AMJ-MOVE or amjcampbell.com. Pinty's Chicken Wings, just like you get at the pub. Proud supporter of the Toronto Blue Jays, two-time World Series champions. Pinty's, making great food fun. their own dream. What's yours? This Friday's jackpot is $16 million. Dream bigger with Lotto Max. We are ready to go. The race for NHL greatness is on. The Stanley Cup is in the house and everywhere else. See every game of the Stanley Cup playoffs with Rogers NHL Live. 
All the heroes. What a beauty! Heart stoppers. How did that not go in? And hardware. Stanley Cup champions. Stream on any device and see every game with a Rogers NHL Live Playoffs pass. Score your pass today at Rogers.com slash NHL. Look at our feature matchup musically put together, and we call it the Humpty Scramble. After six ends of play, Chelsea Carey and Kerry Anderson meeting up, but coming up later, draw eight, Brad Jacobs and Brad Gushu. Four Eastern, one Pacific time. You will see it on Sportsnet One, both undefeated teams at 3-0. and And later tonight on Sportsnet Now, you can get dialed up for that. Casey Scheidegger and Anna Hasselborg, eight Eastern, by Pacific time. Note again, it is on Sportsnet now. See it on your mobile device or on your computer. And as we move into the seventh end, we have Chelsea Carey scoring two in the sixth to take the lead over Carey Anderson. Both teams one and one. Looks like it needs to curl. Let's go to the grand slam of curling. <laughs> website you'll get lots of information on sports and now some frequently asked questions they will answer all and you need to know about getting on to Sportsnet now to watch the action later tonight so it is the grand slam of curling.com good information there a little stickier that's not unusual right. as we get to the late ends of these games with all the brushing down the middle, yes, especially. Yes! Yes! yes. Hard! 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 A tap on that yellow. Just one. The, the weight came way down on it. They were actually wanted to to tap it onto the shot stone and get that shot stone behind the, the T line. Yeah, you got it. Little light. Wait a little down. That's a little tight. Line's tight. Line's good. Top twelve. Dana Ferguson now. They dig for the line. Hard line if you're light. Go, go, go. Wilkes and hey. Brown. Go, 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 go. Get by. Trying to get this by. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Is it going to sneak whoa, by? Let it sit. Let it no, a little kiss and a bump and leaves a okay. port. Looking at all the scores right now. Yeah. Howard and Carruthers tied at two. They're playing now into the seventh end. Yoshimura and Scheidegger. Scheidegger leading by one. Hasselborg with a comfortable five point lead, 6 1 over Fujisawa. Yes. And Patterson yes. with a yes. three point Power. advantage over Mowat. A great chance here for Shannon Burchard to make the most of that miss by Dana Ferguson by splitting open that guard. Gave her a chance to lie yeah, too. She made it perfect. Okay. Once again, it's just not a very big court. Mm -hmm. Great I, I shot. Like made it look easy. I like this call. Head and roll in behind okay. all that mess of stones. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Well, trying to go through the hole again. Scary situation. That's not a very big port. And you don't have last rock, and the opposition is lying too. Yep, yeah. easy up. Yeah. So very scary for Sarah Wilkes. Needs to get rid of one of these yellows and not rack on the guard. This is on the guard. It's on the guard. It's going to get one, and it's going to nudge the other over as well. Big trouble. Oh. Well, the easier shot was certainly to play the open rock, and you could roll anywhere within 
five feet and be buried. So I, I, I question the call a little bit on that one. It's just, uh, if you make it, great. It's wonderful, but that's a hard shot. Trying to get a rock through that little wee hole. You're up to, yeah, you're up two points and you're making a third play a tough shot instead of a very easy one. That's right now, yellow's sitting three. Oh, so just two, sorry. Two, but they're Holy trying God. to split yeah. to uh, to sit four, actually, if this happens to work out just right. Live update for you, the action between Hasselborg and Fujisawa on sheet D. That stone at the top of the forefoot was Fujisawa's first. She made a nice come around and... And Hasselborg hit second shot that was at the back of the forefoot and uh, we'll concede two here to Fujisawa. Up 6-1. Definitely a right call with the score the way it is. Needs full eight foot. And no mistake. Gets a little closer, but uh, Hasselborg in full control there after six. 6-3. Six Sarah Wilkes looking for the hit and roll, looking at those three counters. Okay, well, oh, oh, oh. Okay. This is over okay. curled. Punches it right on the nose. Good throw. I, yeah, I think it just must be doing curls. So that was. Because I think they might even Can we roll under our, our corner? Like, can we roll the other we way? We can. She doesn't want to leave. Do you want to come left? On this side. Okay. Yeah, you can go look. Take a look. So Team Anderson is sitting first and second sh shot, but that open hit and roll, you know how Chelsea Carey has saved her team twice in this game with the perfect roll. There's one more available for her, and that's the one on the team line. Ben, are you thinking, like, leave that for you? We two. Why don't we just draw? Yeah, like, I think if I know, she probably takes the right Like, we can just come and sit right here. If we could get it in for third, I'd like it, but yeah. I don't think either of them will outcount that one. Yeah. So yeah, I think either hit or draw, whichever you're good with. I'm good yeah. with the draw. We know this. I think path. I, I think I like this, Val. Okay. Like here. Yeah, so like ideally like we edge. sit third, but I think taking away this is the goal, hey? Yeah. Are you thinking I'm taking okay. edge of the thinking here? I certainly like this come around choice. Playing the hits fine as long as you roll. If you nose it, you've left a very easy double. So definitely yeah, she uh, like this come around call. Roll, which is fair. Like I think if I hit this, she'll play the gimme double. So just biting eight here. Okay, I think and the speed should be okay out here. I think it'll be okay. Like yeah. I think we're like a little wider than we've been. So it's going to come down when it curls. Yeah, I think 14 and a half. Close. Yeah, 14 and a half. I like. Okay. So this is Vell's out turn, so this should track for quite a ways. Vell's out turn is very crisp, usually nice and positive. See that nice positive release there? Got tons of room. Wanted this to be in the eight foot, but it's eight foot plus bites the side of the four. It's too deep. Yep. <laughs> Update now: Scheidegger and Yoshimura meeting on sheet B. Yoshimura at 0 and 2. Scheidegger 2 and 0. Yeah, three and two here for Scheidegger. This is one of those uh, easy but important shots. So it's an open hit, but it's against three. It's hit and roll out here, and you'll know, give up control of this game. Here. Clean, that's a good, that's what the sweepers want to hear. Nice roll to the button for Casey Scheidegger. She goes up 4 2 here after six. In our feature matchup, Chelsea Carey, Carey Anderson, a little too deep there, and a chance to bop those two yellows. 
The line was perfect if it stops one foot sooner, but this is a fairly easy double. The thing about this double, though, is if you can imagine hitting a quarter of the top rock, your shooter will roll out of play. That'll leave a come around chance. So three is still on the table here for Team Anderson, even if Chelsea were to make this double. First of the skip stones. Trying to make the double and hold for and Shot Stone. It will stay for Shot, and the Yellowstone will roll out. Yes. Just enough. Oh, what a shot. That's really, really good. The odds of making that this well is extremely small. To be able to make this double is easy. Making the double is not hard. But being able to hold the shooter and get enough of their yellow to remove it from the house because if that stays a biter you know that double is going to be taken on on the top off the top red great shot i'm looking for the hit and roll well, carrie's got to be a bit careful here too if you end up rolling behind the t-line might give chelsea a freeze to get out of trouble completely Right, but if Carrie makes the perfect roll, she still has a chance to get three. Nine five. Ten. Nine five. Nine five. Watch oh. up. Whoa. Nine third. Whoa. Whoa. Wait really close. Whoa. Shannon. Whoa. Oh, no. Shannon. Hard. Shannon. Hard. 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 No roll. No, they wanted it on the Eight. nose, Ten. but it did not curl enough. It rolls. How to play. Let's take a look at the key wow. comparison brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. And Chelsea Carey at 94% total up through six ends to Carey Anderson's 80%. Sweeting and Wilkes very close. Burchard out curling Ferguson right now, and Mayer at 77% to Brown 66%. And as we've noted, Rob, it's a Chelsea Carey's first stone has really um, been the, the winner the for this team, getting her team out yeah, of trouble, like making day. those if perfect rolls, better. setting up okay. for so deuces that in ends that no did more. not yeah, look yeah, like they were going to yeah, get yeah, a multiple yeah, score. Well, this end as well. Mm -hmm. That Im almost impossible double and holds the shooter. That was key. I kind of thought Carey should probably come around on her first one instead of hitting and rolling. Mm -hmm. Come around to the top four foot, pour the pressure on, rather than a very difficult exacting role mm -hmm. make you come Carrie. around and put some pressure on the, on chelsea but Back chelsea's in. been terrific today You heard the sweepers. They knew that this one was heavy. Will it stick around for shot zone at the back? Okay. okay. And you heard Hannah Ferguson yell, don't want to. Didn't want to sweep it at all, and this is where it ends up. So now for Kerry Anderson, a draw for two. Maybe tricked a little bit by Vell's outturn in that spot. The same broom, but Vell's outturn always pops and runs straight for quite a while, and Chelsea took the same ice, and, and her intern just curled more. I guess this was the call. You got it. <laughs> the full eight is what Carrie Anderson needs to count two. Last rock in the seventh. Time of 397, and that means the front end has to work on it. And they've been working on it throughout. They had to be into the eight foot. It is good, solid sweep by the front end. Bertrand and Mayer, and a count of two for Kerry Anderson. So after seven ends of play, it is 4 4 between these two teams. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pinty's Chicken Wings, just like you get at the pub. Official sponsor of the Hamilton Tiger Cats, eight-time Grey Cup champs and kings of Steeltown. Pinty, making great food fun.
you choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose New Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. Pike Creek on the rocks. Some people see the world a little differently. Where others see problems, they see possibilities. And they have the curiosity and ingenuity to turn those light bulb moments into awesome realities. We know who you are. What's that? It's Tic Tac Gum. Try some. Yum! Tic Tac Gum! <laughs> Whoa! Mm. More Tic Tac Gum? Refreshing, delicious, fun. Tic Tac Gum. I'm Leonard, and I was hurt by a reckless driver. Go to client lawyers, absolutely. They, uh, they look, you know, they'll, uh, they'll look after you, they'll look after your settlement and your injuries, and uh, they'll get the most of uh, what, you, uh, what you deserve. If you've been injured in a car accident, call client lawyers. Everyone has their own dream. What's yours? This Friday's jackpot is $16 million. Dream bigger with Lotto Max. Moments ago, Pinty's update the action from Sheet A, Howard, and Carruthers. And you go back to that call, Mike McEwen decided to draw for one in number six. Yep. And he's got Howard in trouble here in got the seventh, looking are. at three. And this is we a double really to give up one. Deep. And this is going to over curl, and it will be a steal of two, in fact. So good call in six, and uh, McEwen and Carruthers take over the lead here. 4-2 now, playing the last. Well, one end uh, left to play with Howard and Carruthers. All the other scores for you. Nishimura and Scheidegger with Scheidegger leading by two. Fujisawa trailing Hasselborg by three. And Team Patterson with a three-point edge over Bruce Mowat. But Hammy McMillan had to beg off after three ends of play, not feeling well. So Mowat's been playing with the three-person team for most of this game. And this game, our feature matchup, Chelsea yeah, Carey, Carey like Anderson. Carey took two in the first end. Anderson took one in the third, stole one in the fourth. And Carey responded with two in the sixth, and Anderson got a deuce back in the seventh. A little more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Little more whoa. Whoa. Rochelle Brown Lena. playing the tick shot again. As you can see on her first one, opened up that center line. Trying to get contact, but does not move it. Okay. All right. Top line. Update for you, the action, Patterson and Mowat on sheet E. That's right, and Mowat's got a couple of options here. He's trying actually a triple for three points. And we'll watch where these rocks, particularly on the sideboard, end up hitting because they're still talking about what actually happened. And the rocks end up being moved all over the place, and the, the rock in question is that Yellowstone closest to us. It did get moved about an inch closer to the sideboards, uh, off the sideboards. So the teams were looking at that very closely as the uh, as our update was being played, and uh, we'll see what the, where they end up. They did finally decide, and it's a count of two. Yeah, so Mo it gets two, gets within one. Yeah, well, we're gonna, we're gonna do and uh, Ross Patterson will have the hammer as we head to the last. Dana Ferguson trying to clean up this center line as we showed you, Rochelle Brown missing the tick shot and cluttering that center line. Okay. Sorry, Charles, I just was so unlucky. I know, second. yeah. Okay, good, Dana. And that was Rochelle just yeah. making reference to that missed uh, tick shot and where the rocks ended up and the clutter around the center line. Hi. 
points. Two. Peel could take it, try to take it across the top of that red one, and mm -hmm. but uh, not without major danger if you happen to jam it. But oh, no. I attempt it though. Well, it might be oh. worth a try oh. uh, earlier in the end. That's oh. right. That's for all. Huh? You're okay, I think. Good. Good. That red rock is in a really nice spot though. Later in the end. I have end. no idea what was happening there. Even if Carrie okay. Anderson were to make the intern like bump on that like yellow late it, in the end, it would good. be a short yeah, run no back idea. for Chelsea <laughs> Carey. That's true. Yeah. Continuing to try to throw yeah, these right center right line right guards right and, right and having team yeah, carry to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to to consider the tricky peel. There's jams off of both of the corners. Thank you, Princess Otto, proud sponsor for Grand Slam of Curling, Team Carruthers, and Team Joe. We like it. The peel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where do I need to hit it? Finn is good this time. We'll go back to the top. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was referring to before. The, the tricky situation with those tick shots is that you leave those rocks on the corner. Yeah. Makes yeah. peeling a little yeah. bit more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Got rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, Worked sweet. out. Yeah, I know. I was like, yeah. It's sweet. Yeah. Certainly yes. wouldn't be the first time in curling that you saw one of those peel attempts come off of a side and spin right to the top of the button. And all of a sudden, a team that was in control is looking at trouble. Anderson looking to steal. And putting Two, back a guard. Yep, keep dragging it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good, Val. Great. Okay, that's good. It's not bad there, actually. The rock's been curling more all game. You saw the split time on <laughs> that. And good Jerry Gertz had a good line that split times are like fingerprints. <laughs> Everybody has a yep, different right one right. because right. of release, as you said, because game. maybe pulling oh, back at the end. So you have to get used to what everybody on your team throws. Right? That's right. It, it's part of the, the trick of using split times is to know what your thrower. So you can compare the split times on the on if the thrower throws the same draw back to back. It's relevant. It's it. You lose a little bit of relevance uh, when you, you're comparing players, although you get used to that as well when you're playing with the same people all the time. You can make those kind of translations. So we're just giving them. Too what I'm trying to say, Rob, draw. is if you're a front end player, you have to be really smart. That's where <laughs> <laughs> you put the really smart people. I was wondering where that was going all of a sudden. And, <laughs> and then you knew. <laughs> we're just wondering by doing this, we're, they're drawing on her necks, probably, right? Yep. So if we just rip, do they guard again or do they put the top on her neck? Then we they, have guard, totally open. they guard their rock. Right. But then we run our yellow red into it. Yeah, I'm just thinking so the guard might be, like, this is the longest guard we're probably going to get out of them. That's my only concern. Yeah, I'm just, but it's not, like, it's can't guard, guard like, they have, a, essentially right now they have a double guard on they the button. They do, yeah. I am worried about that, because if we miss, yeah. I feel like the guard is, like, if we just rip, they have to guard that. If they guard it, fine, we rip the three into it. They're drawing side four, maybe. But then you have this whole side to draw to. Okay. I don't know. I, I'm feeling it the just rip looks, now. It looks double guardy to me. Yeah. Okay. 
Just yeah. rip it. Yep. Okay. I like this. Think this through. It's the guard that's going to hurt Team Carry in the end. Get rid of the guard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get rid of the guard. You could play a nose hit on the one in the eight foot. It's not wrong if you make it perfect, stay exactly on the nose. If you ever rolled it half buried or in the open, then they come around top button, you probably lose the game. So this is, this is, open up that red raise. This is great, great call. Well thought out. It's tempting to hit that shot stone in the paint, but. Yep, yep, yep. Right up. Right up, right up, right up. Drag it off. Drag it back. Right to it, right to it, right to it. Get right there. Almost got rid of both <laughs> yellows, actually. That would have been a tremendous uh, result. And the shooter rolls over to the sideboard. Girls. I think it could come here. Blank in seven for Hasselborg and Fujisawa. They're now moving to the eighth with Hasselborg leading by three. Yeah. Right? Next, if we guard, she's maybe coming here or nosing that. Well, she knows then, then, yeah. She she's, knows that line. Yeah, yeah. I like this. What do you think uh, line and speed here? Where would you take ice? So we took for here and we got to here. Yeah. So, so I was thinking maybe there. Touch less, yeah. I maybe like we can ice. finish because, I mean, if anything, like, here's not bad too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like that ice. You That's can true. always finish it in this exactly. spot. Let's make sure yeah. we get by. And I think everything. it's going to be like a... 14-2. Yeah. I remember yeah. that half like that really It's about 14, I think. Like you, yeah, to yours a 14, here yes. was a 14 right after Rochelle threw and it's yeah. been sitting. So yeah, yeah I think 14. it's about four feet heavier than it's been. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So lots of reference to uh, hog to hog times when they were talking about those 14-2. And again, that's just another way of, of communicating. Every team is different in terms of what they use to make reference to how hard the, the thrower should should uh, deliver this stone. Get a good one in there. Yeah, let's yeah. get a good one. You got it. Okay, so same as what I've been throwing. Same as what you've been throwing to maybe like three feet more. So tied at four, eighth end, carry with the hammer, the first of the skip stones. Just to the top of the button, we go live now. The action sheet B, Scheidegger and Yoshimura with Scheidegger leading by two. And that red stone on the T line was Casey Scheidegger's final stone. Yoshimura looked briefly at maybe some sort of slash double. And you look at it from the front here, and she has to get very close to her own at the top eight in order to tap this straight back to score multiple points. Not 100% sure who's third shot or potentially third shot here. But that great draw there from Scheidegger will result in only one here for Yoshimura. But 4-3 uh, needs to steal the last to send this one to an extra end. Well, that's the situation now for Kerry Anderson tied at four with Kerry looking. To try to get the steal going. A beautiful draw by Kerry Anderson. But as... Uh, Kevin pointed out earlier in the end, this, yeah, it was they, they thought it was back eight. this <laughs> red stone at the top of the house is there for Kerry to run back. Either right on the nose or you might even get rid of both yellows. And punch it right on the nose and sitting one. Perfect shot. Continuing the trend, Kevin, of uh, Chelsea yeah, Carey so getting the most out of her first stone yeah. in this game, making like good ones. Yeah, drawing to here. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, sometimes you have a rock that just feels terrific in your hand. And obviously, That's Chelsea nice. Carey has one of those on her yeah. first because she has been outstanding with her first rock. Now, she's had a little bit of trouble with her second yeah, rock, though. Came down. Came down. So, the, see if... Uh, 
Carrie Anderson can make a really nice bump here on her yellow and bump it to the side of the button and make uh, Chelsea Carey make a really good one on her second as well. I think it's going to come down. Okay. All right. So that one has a 13.5. Got to get right to nose here. Okay. Okay. Sorry, your first one is a 13.5? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So I'm thinking that's the same weight here. Um, a little bit more if we want to tap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably like closer to 13. Um, then. do you like that ice or do you think a little tighter? You think that's too tight, or you think she thinks it's not? I th not too much. Oh, too I much. think it'll curl. We're in that middle path where it's gonna yeah. kind of take yeah. off okay. a little. So, yeah. So. Both the same. You just threw. Back eight. Line's good. Same yeah. weight. Line's good. Needs to finish. Yes, the bump, and it will be shot. What a couple of shots by Carrie Anderson. It's one thing to draw to the button, but to tap your own, you need the perfect line and the perfect weight. This was a great team shot. Good communication by the sweepers. A great call by Val. Wow. <laughs> so now if you're team Chelsea Carey and see that, how do you get that yellow out of there? We're still new. It's April. Now even if red directly onto yellow and stays, that'll get rid of the yellow. Or across the face gets it. So a little bit of uh, room for error here. You got it. Just through this spot as well on her, the run back, very close to the same kind of shot as she played on her first. Any chance Chelsea Carey would have the chance the to uh, throw Hello. her first rock okay. again? Nice people <laughs> grab that one. <laughs> yeah. Let some. me just take this. <laughs> would you mind? We're tied at four, eighth end. Anderson sitting one. Last stone for Chelsea Carey. Whoa! Close. Whoa! Nope. Rochelle! Whoa! Whoa! Rochelle! Rochelle! Go! 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 Punch the red, and there it goes. That will be two red, and it will be Chelsea Carey with the victory over Carey Anderson. Six to four will be the yeah. final score. Carey improves to one to two and one, while Anderson drops to one and two. Yeah. Got a little nervous there. <laughs> Urgent well, <laughs> cry on the sweep. Well, a tremendous couple of draws by Carey Anderson, forcing this kind of pressure run back from uh, Chelsea Carey, but. What a great game for Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> Rochelle Brown was busy in this game. The smiles say it all. 6-4. Carey wins. You're a big deal to us, so we've got big deals for you. At Moore's, it's the big deal event. This Easter, select suits are $249.99. Dress shirts are three for $125. Plus, it's buy one, get one free on select items. Only at Moore's. You choose to take on the day. So when you need nutrition on the run, choose New Boost Protein Plus. With 27 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals, it's balanced nutrition that goes where you go. Being a world-class curler means you have to travel the world. It's time away from family and friends. And it can be a grind. But since we've got Goldline on our team, our gear is one thing, we never have to worry about. So we can enjoy all the places we go together. Just a little bit more. Gold Line, the choice of champions. Here in Canada, our dramatic climate has shaped us the same way it has shaped the land. This is where Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey's incredibly smooth taste was born, crafted by the elements. Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey. 
Pinty's Chicken Wings, just like you get at the pub. Official sponsor of the NFL. Are you ready for some football? Pinty's, making great food fun. The Stanley Cup playoffs on Sportsnet and CBC. They've been on a collision course all season long. The Leafs look to send a message. You gotta respect the Boston Bruins, but you can't fear them. With more firepower. Tobias scores! Experience and hunger. Matthew shoots, he scores! Can Toronto finally bring down Boston? They will not go easily. Leafs Bruins Game 1 tonight with Hockey Central on Sportsnet. Let's bring in a Pinty's update from moments ago. Mike Harris watching the action between Bruce Mowat and Ross Patterson. Yes, Bruce Mowat last at the top 12, but he's trying to bring that in almost uh, full eight to make Ross Damn. think a little bit more about whether or not yeah. to throw the draw. Whoa. With that stone just yeah. at the top 12 foot, he Ding. knows he really only needs to count that Mike. one Mike. that Bruce threw on his last. So this is a draw to the Mike's button. Good, Are you good? Oh, yeah. Duncan Menzies and Michael Goodfellow on this one. Come on. Little late sweep there from Duncan. And just gets there. And that'll be a win for Team Patterson over a shorthanded Bruce Mowat. Mowat goes to 0 3. Patterson now 1 2. And as we look at the scores, Carruthers. Uh, with a win over Glenn Howard as both teams now 2-1, two and 4-2, the final score there. Playing the eighth, Scheidegger leads Roshimura by one. Hasselborg leads Fujisawa by three, playing in the eighth. And you just saw the final shot. Patterson defeating Mowat 7-5. And in our feature sheet, ended up as a 6-4 carry win. We'll now focus on the action from sheet B. Yoshimura and Casey Scheidegger playing in the eighth. And a great start to this event for uh, Team Scheidegger. Two and zero oh so far, and uh, with a one-point lead and hammer here in the eighth seven, end, they played a pretty clean end. Some tick shots, and no trouble for Scheidegger. Looking good here. Scheidegger with wins over Chelsea Carey and Fujisawa. Yep, now facing yeah, Yoshimura. Back 12 is good. Back 12 is good. And will be our feature game tonight Ryan against uh, Anna Hasselborg. Okay. Yeah. Again, Fair. tonight's game will be on Sportsnet now. That's at 8 Eastern. Yoshimura playing the freeze now. The draw to the open side by Kiria McTaggart just going behind the T line. right to that red stone. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Great weight, just did not have the line. Very quickly, right there, hey? Casey Scheidegger so, puts yeah, down the broom yeah, as we go to Fujisawa and Hasselborg. A big count of four by Hasselborg in the fourth changed the complexion of this yeah. game. That's right, three up coming home with the hammer and although Fujisawa is lying three here, this is an open hit. And uh, just for good measure, she'll make the triple. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Score one, 7-3 seven, seven, of the three. final. Yes, great shot. Hasselborg improves to 3-0. and oh. yeah, saw 0-3. Oh Thank you. Good game. <laughs> In the skip stones here on sheet B, Casey Scheidegger with the hammer. Right to it, clean. Yep. Whoa, clean, whoa, clean, whoa. clean. Make sure they all go. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> and just picks off the yellow. I thought she'd still catch a piece. I was hoping to lose everything there. Wanted that to curl up just a little bit more. Okay. Perfect freeze here might force uh, Casey into throwing the draw. Maybe. Sayaka Yoshimura has been busy. She qualified for the playoffs in 13 events this season. And they won the Oakville Fall Classic in September. We're a runner up to Helena Stern in the Tour Challenge Yo! Tier 2 event in Thunder Bay That's earlier right. this season. <laughs> now, having thrown this once, trying to get it now, freeze right on top of it. over curling it is going to be shot just wallop it didn't take the win we'll wallop it on the inside <laughs> just can't afford to put this back any and uh, yeah. hit it on the wrong side that's all um, no, I just, we haven't played it there at all. Is that okay, or? Talking about playing the out turn yes. versus the in. The in turn makes more sense, but as to Casey's point, I haven't played it, so you don't know how it'll run. And she just threw this out turn. So as you said, it's just a matter of throwing straight, no put back. Last rock for Casey Scheidegger, leading by one. Make that yellow go away and improve to 3-0. and oh. You love clean. hearing clean. Clean is a good thing. And in this case, it's a great thing. It will be a score of one right to the lid for Casey Scheidegger. Good game. And Scheidegger will improve to 3-0. and oh. Yoshimura drops to 0-2. Oh 5-3, the final score with Scheidegger the victory over Yoshimura. Pinty's Grand Slam of Curling on Sportsnet presents the 2019 Players' Championship. Brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. By Humpty's Family Restaurants, more great quality food for less. By Princess Auto, helping you make it work. By Boost, be up for it with Boost. By Coyote, if you have work to do, Coyote has the tractors and UTVs to do it. Coyote, we dig dirt by Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey, crafted by the elements, and by Pinty's, making great food fun. Downtown Toronto, and it is the site of the Players' Championship for 2019. 24 teams have come here, 12 on the men's side, 12 on the women's side, and draw seven has come to a close here at the Madame Athletic Center, part of Ryerson University. Time now for the perfect finish. And this comes the last rock in our feature game, 4-4. Chelsea Carey needing to make this run back. Lots of pressure by Carey Anderson, and Chelsea Carey makes it perfect. And that's enough for Chelsea Carey to go on to a victory. The perfect finish is brought to you by Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey, crafted by the elements. So seven draws in the books right now. Top eight teams after round robin play in the two pools will make their way into the playoff round. On the women's side, Pool A, Silver Nagel at 2-0, and oh, Homan 2-1. and one. Pool B, Hasselborg and Scheidegger both at a perfect 3-0. and oh. Chelsea Carey improves to 2-1. and one. On the men's side, two six-team pools. Pool A, Adin, 2-0. Carruthers and Howard now tied at 2-1 and one with the victory by the Manitoba Foursome over Ontario's Glenn Howard. Pool B, we're going to get a clash of the Titans coming up as Gushu and Jacobs are both at 3-0. Botcher to Cruz, Epping at 1-2. Again, top eight will advance to the playoff round.
And as mentioned, here's the battle of the Brads. Two 3-0 and teams. One will be perfect through the first four games of their Players' Championship. We'll have it for you on Sportsnet 1 at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific time. And at 8 o'clock on Sportsnet now, Casey Scheidegger and Anna Hasselborg. Another great battle of teams looking to claim the Players' Championship. Again, it is on Sportsnet now, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time. Go to GrandSlandedCurling.com to get all the information on Sportsnet now. Our feature matchup, Kerry Anderson and Chelsea Carey, the reigning Scotty's champion. It was Carey with the victory, 6-4. We'll be back later this afternoon with the Battle of the Brads, Jacobs and Gucci. This is the Pinty's Grand Slam of Curling on Sportsnet. Really good.